Well, I thought it was clear, but apparently you guys really like AI content, human nature tactics. What can I say? Content is king. So today I'm going to show you some actionable tips to make your AI content feel more human. And later I will do a quick demonstration just to show you that this method works. There are five easy steps you can implement right now. It works on all types of content, including a blog post, video script, and general social media content. Now I explained on my previous video that AI content detector tools today cannot tell the difference between content made by a robot or a real human. But the idea of distancing AI content from AI seems very attractive. After all, ChatGPT has been around for quite some time, and some people start noticing that some content on the internet sounded like AI. With that being said, here are 5 simple steps to make AI content sound more human. Step number one, do not make your AI article too long. I can tell that this article is made by AI. Even though I haven't read the article, I only just scrolling past through it, but because of the length of the article, I can confidently say that this article is not created by a real person. There is no point of writing a 1000, 2000 word article if the topic is very narrow. I mean, do you really need a 3000 word article to explain how to send an email? Maybe not. In most cases, long form article is not very human. Remember, human likes finding the path with the least resistance. There is no point to write 10,000 word article if it can be done in just 500. So tell the AI to keep the number of words in the content to be moderate. And personally, I want to keep everything under 1,000 words and I think 500 to 600 words is more than enough. Step number two, do not use cliche word. Do you notice that AI uses words like elevate, mastering, and unleash a lot? And let's not forget the Dell shenanigan that played ChatGPT. These words used to be powerful, but now they're a cliche. In fact, they make it easy for average person to spot if an article or a piece of content was made by AI. So tell the AI to avoid using these words and phrases in the response. These words are just some examples. Of course, there are many other words and phrases that you need to ban from ChatGPT and other AI models in order to get a more natural content. And you can check the link in the video description to get this list. Step number three, add bullet points. This is somewhat similar to the step number one. AI has no problem explaining a few points in a long, winding paragraph, but a real writer prefers to break it down in a bullet point format. And not to mention, it is also much more digestible for the readers. So tell the AI to incorporate bullet points when relevant. You might also add some other elements like table, quotes, and code if necessary. Step number four, use shorter paragraphs. A wall paragraph don't look good at all. It is not the best way to communicate on the internet. Just ask this question to yourself. Do you prefer to read this one or this one? They contain the same amount of information, but our monkey brain loves chunking, aka dividing pieces of information and then assembling it into a larger unit. From many real authors that are read like Tim Ferriss and Greg McCone, when it comes to writing, especially on the internet, are always concise. One paragraph usually has no more than three sentences. This introduces more white space between text and makes it visually appealing. So modify the prompt and tell the AI to limit the number of sentences for each paragraph to be between two to three sentences. Step number five, ditch ChatGPT and start using code. Okay, this one is more like a recommendation than a strict requirement. ChatGPT is all right. It is the most powerful AI and it is quite versatile. But when it comes to creative writing, Cloud is winning. Even with the same prompt, Cloud can provide a more dynamic responses and varieties while still abiding the prompt. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is too consistent, which is a good or bad thing depending on your purpose. But most of the time, content and made by Cloud feels more natural and down to earth compared to ChatGPT. But I'm not forcing you to switch to Cloud if you are happy with ChatGPT. Instead, consider switching to Cloud only when ChatGPT is less satisfactory. Now that I have explained all the steps, let's do some demo. All right, now I'm using Cloud to show you a quick demonstration about the steps and techniques that I just showed you about how to make AI content sound more human. And this is the prompt that I'm using. This is a very basic prompt. And in fact, this is not the kind of prompt that I'm using to create a real content to be published on a website. But you can pause the video if you want to get this prompt. But basically, you can see that there are some elements that I do recommend. For example, the AI is going to write just 300 
to 500 words and also there is a bullet point table quotes and using a shorter paragraph and also to adhere the banned words aka the cliche words that we don't want to use in our content so i have a long list of banned words that i'm going to tell ai to not use in the response so basically this is the prompt and also this is the document that i'm using after that i'm going to generate the article and see what cloud will come up with okay now i have this article that just generated by cloud and i'm going to copy the article and i'm going to test whether or not this article is detected as human or robot by this tool called undetectable.ai this is a very popular tool freemium tool that allows you to check if your content is made by ai or human again it is not perfect but in case you really care about the humanizing ai content then this is the tool for it i'm going to paste the content and let's see if the content was labeled as human or ai well your content appears to be human and it scores perfect 100 that the content made by human even though we know that this is pretty much made by ai but thanks to our prom and also the band words the content is detected as human even though it wasn't if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're into AI content creation and want to know more tips and tricks and also mistakes to avoid when using AI, well, check out this video and I'll see you there.